So I snagged up this little refrigerator today. Uh, very, very small freezer. Uh, we got fireworks tonight. Uh, anyway, uh, it's this tiny, tiny little freezer, fridge. Uh, it's only about uh, eight months old or something. It was manufactured in December of 2015. Uh, anyway, found this thing at Goodwill for 60 bucks. Plugged it in, doesn't work. Uh, it'd run for a couple of seconds and it quit. So I got them to drop it down to $30 because I felt that the compressor was worth that. It's an isobutane compressor. Uh, it's rated at about 95 watts. Um, it's got a displacement of three and a half cubic centimeters, but I really liked it because it's the first R600A system I've owned. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, it actually utilizes a small microfarad, excuse me, five microfarad compressor or capacitor for it. Um, anyway, I got it home and ran it, and uh, it was only pulling about uh, 0.38 amps or something, which is well below what it's rated at. wasn't moving a lot of heat. So uh, you can see I put the little vampire tap in there, piercing valve, and uh, put some propane to it until I got a decent amount of cooling. Um, got it up to about I don't know, 0.7 amps. Um, the system's not designed for propane. I mean, propane is a far different uh, pressure temperature curve than isobutane. Uh, isobutane boils at atmospheric pressure at about 12 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, whereas propane's around negative 44. So uh, they are very different refrigerants in that regard. Uh, propane carries a little more uh, heat in its latent heat of vaporization. Um, but uh, anyway, you know, it's working relatively well now. You can see I got the frost back now that uh, everything's down to, to temperatures. Um, I think the box is about 6 degrees Fahrenheit right now or something. So uh, I'm, I'm going to end up just tearing the, uh, the compressor out of it because I, I want it for my own purposes. That's really all I want here. Um, as far as the rest of the box goes, I've got the condenser inside the, the skin here on both sides, leaking heat into the inside box. Um, so uh, I might strip it apart and try to get whatever metal I can out of it before I sc scrap the thing. But uh, yeah, that's going to be my next compressor. I'm pretty uh, pretty pleased with that find there for $30. So um, um, something I think is interesting about this unit, um, and really probably any R600A system, is that the... Uh, uh, being a boiling point is 12 degrees Fahrenheit, in order for it to serve as a freezer and get down to, say, around zero degrees in the uh, box, the low side presumably has to operate in a vacuum, which is kind of uh, kind of funny to me. Um, reminds me of the old carrying systems from uh, back in the day in the 30s there. So, um, yeah, considering I've read there's about 700 million of these things on the planet, uh, I, I think that's uh, an interesting little feature of it. Um, so, uh, but for my purposes, it will be running propane. So, uh, yeah, I'll have some fu future videos to demonstrate with that. So, thanks for watching.